Welcome, Welcome to Tiger, Tiger TV. TV. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December 16th. Thank you, fourth grade chorus. What a beautiful way to start our morning. You did a great job. Isaiah 12, 5 says, Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. The spirit is in the air. Can you feel it? What? On the count of three, scream, Merry Christmas. Ready? One, two, three. That, that was the best one yet. Here's Suzanne and Caroline from Mrs. Reardon's class sharing their family traditions for Christmas. Thank you for I'm Suzanne. I'm Caroline. These are our Christmas traditions. I like to talk about my Christmas traditions. One tradition I have is we get a Christmas tree at a farm where my old bus driver works. We decorate it with mostly ornaments we've made. Another Christmas tradition we have is on Christmas Eve, we go to see the Lake Lanier Magical Nights of Lights. It's where people decorate around Lake Lanier. There are so many lights and they all look fantastic. One week before Christmas, we go to my grandparents' house to celebrate. My mom's brother and my aunt come as well. We also get to open presents from them. Closer to Christmas, we go to my other grandparents' house to celebrate with them. My aunt, my uncle, and my cousins from California come too. We open gifts from each other. I love our tradition. Some of my family's Christmas traditions are buying a Christmas tree and we all decorate it. Our elves will come in December. On Christmas Eve, we all go out in my mom's car and look at lights that people put out. Then we go home and go to sleep. In the morning, my brother and sisters will come in and wake me up so we can all go downstairs together. We each get a pile of presents. My sister opens one, then my other sister, then my brother, then me. And we keep going till we don't have any presents left. Those are my Christmas traditions. Thank you, fourth grade, for sharing your fantastic family traditions on Tiger TV. You all did a great job. Tomorrow is our dress down day. Please come dressed in your PJs. Our regular dress down clothes. Thank you for your student. Thank your student council for all your hard work. We appreciate all you do for our school. Please remember there is no student council meeting today. Your next meeting is on December 13th. You've been gathering. You've been doing a fantastic job with gathering your box tops. The lower school raised $500 when we turned in our last box top collection. Please turn in what you have collected so far by this Friday. When we return from break, we will find out who our next popcorn winner is and how much money we raised for our lower school. Keep collecting! It is time for our book babble. Here is Catherine and Meryl and Madeline to give us our next book review. Welcome to Book Babble. I'm your host, Caitlin. Today I'm interviewing Madeline about one of her favorite books. What is the name of the book and who is the author? The name of this book is The Sister's Grim and the author is Michael Buckley. What is the book about? The book is about two sisters who try and solve a mystery of their parents' disappearance. Who do you think would like to read this book? Anyone who likes an adventure or a mystery. It sounds like a really good book. Thank you, Madeline. That was great. Thank you so much that for that book review. The end of our for the two for the end of our 2009 year. Miss Barine is here with a special announcement. Well, good morning everybody. So it's time for that question again. Who likes roller coasters? Yes, it's time for the Six Flags Reading Club. That means that if you read Six hours of reading between now and the last week of February, you will earn yourself a ticket to Six Flags over Georgia uh, to use over the next coming summer. So get reading. December holiday time is a great time to snuggle up by that fire and read a book. I hope to hear from all of you about the wonderful books you're reading. And if you need some ideas or you need a form to track your reading, come see me in the Media Center. Thank you. I will definitely read so I can go to Six Flags this summer. I can't wait to ride the flume. Our temperature today at 12 will be 46 degrees with a 10% chance of rain. For lunch we will be enjoying fish, fish sticks, sticks, roasted fish red potatoes, peppers, potatoes, sauteed peppers and squash. Here's our devotion. Some people say Christmas is all about the presents. 
those people aren't lucky like us at Kings Ridge to go to a Christian school is awesome. I think we should all be thankful to be at Kings Ridge during Christmas. Of course, we like getting all the gifts, but think about the children that don't get anything. The true meaning of Christmas is that it is the celebration of our Savior's birth. Also, think that he died on the cross for our sins. It's important for people not to get so tied up with gifts that they forget why Christmas exists. Please bow your head in prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day. Please show everyone the true meaning of Christmas and to be thankful for all the blessings they have. In his name we pray, amen. Thank you, Stephen Owen, for our heartfelt prayer and devotion. Please welcome Lauren and Anna to help us with the pledge. Please stand. I put your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The correct time is 9.13. I'm Jack from Miss Full Love's class. And I'm Sarah from Miss Full Love's class. Have a Merry Christmas. I can't wait to read so I can go to Six Flags. I know. I can't wait to ride the flume. I know. Me too. There's this new roller coaster, and I and I'm definitely going to be tall enough.